Hey, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, so hello, 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 YouTubers. Okay, so let's go into the California tax deed sale. Much more details, okay, much more details, okay? So let's go to the fundamentals again. California is a tax deed state, okay, tax deed state. So that means when the property is gonna be going to tax sale, the property will be sold, okay? They will be sold. So you will get a tax deed if you win at the property, okay? Now, as long as the county has notified all the parties who have a lien on the property, the mortgage company, okay? Uh, if they have any judgments on the property, okay? Anybody who has a interest in the property, okay? They will be extinguished or they will be removed. So you won't have to be re re responsible for it. But, <laughs> there is a but, okay? The IRS, okay, is kind of unique. So they have like 120 days to decide if they want the property or not and pay you back your money, okay? Or two, the local code enforcement people, okay? Their code violations usually stick, okay? They usually stick, <laughs> all right? So I wanna give you a little heads up there, okay? So when you're gonna be buying the property there, remember that everything will be removed except a couple items, okay? So just make sure you do your homework and everything's very, very important to your research, okay? So let's go back again. Let's go to bid for assets, bidforassets.com, and we're gonna register on their website, okay? Now, as we register on the website, okay, we also wanna be approved to bid on the auction, okay? And it says right on there, once you sign up and everything, um, deposit, okay, enroll, okay, big, big, uh, um, big dot, you could say, okay, um, and you want to go there and you want to deposit, so they're going to ask you for your routing number from your bank, they're going to ask you for your account number from your bank, and they will basically uh, either take the money out or they're gonna ask you to um, wire the money to their bank account, okay? So, very important. Now, once you've done all those, it, those information, you're gonna go and make sure that you get an email from Bid for Assets, okay? That they receive your money and you're all confirmed to bid on the properties, okay? So, now what we've done, We've uh, been approved for the auction for Los Angeles County. Remember, it's on October 23rd to the 25th, I believe, okay? And you wanna go into the county, you know, site, which is for the auctions, okay? County sales site. Gonna go down to Los Angeles County, okay? And we're gonna click that, okay? And we're gonna go into the folders area. Okay, folders area, okay? Now, you want to try to do a download of Excel, if you can, okay? Because that will basically be able to pull up all the properties for you in a nice uh, Excel spreadsheet, okay? And some of the properties, they will have physical addresses on with the APN number, okay? A lot of it, it's just gonna be the APN number, which is could be vacant land only, all right? So, once we've done that information, you want to make sure you go through each of those um, files, okay? And you also want to start watching those videos because a lot of times the county will provide documentation for you, okay, on certain properties, okay? So, when you go, on, go into the Los Angeles County um, site on Bid for Assets, there's gonna be like five columns that you want to basically start looking at, okay? Looking at one at a time, okay? So you wanna be ready for the sale, you wanna do your research and so on, okay? All right, now, what do we do, okay? We got the list, 
So what? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. What we want to do, we want to go to the Los Angeles County Assessor's Office. Okay. Los Angeles County Assessor's Office. Okay. Um, dot com. And once you do that, you want to find the location, which is, first of all, you want to find a GIS map. GIS map. Okay. Once you find the GIS map, okay, you're going to type in the parcel number. Don't put the address if you can, okay? Put the parcel number, okay? Or property ID number, okay? Or APN number, however they call it, okay? You want to put that number there, okay? And that will pull up information about the property, okay? How many bedrooms it is, how many bathrooms it is, how many square feet it is, okay? where it's located, okay? And it will a lot of times give you the street address of the property, okay? And you can compare it if that's the right one on bid for assets, okay? So once you go on the GIS map, okay, it will give you the, the location of the property. Now you wanna go into, it's called the report card, okay? Um, of the property, okay? That will give you the really good detailed information about the property, okay? Again, it's on the assessor's website. You're gonna have to play around with it, okay? And you're gonna have to look for that area, okay? And that will give you all information about it. GIS map, I'll be honest with you, it's very good. It's gonna give you the location of where the property is located, okay? That's where the GIS map is. The report card, will give you the detailed information. You know, the bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet of the house, the lot size, when the property was built, okay? They will probably even show maybe when the property was bought and sold, okay? They're gonna give you an estimated value of what they put it on, okay? But usually that's a little bit lower than on the actual value, okay? So very critical, okay? Gotta do your research, go on to the assessor's website, okay? And you wanna punch in the APN number. Try not to put the address again, okay? Try Put the APN number down, okay? And that will give you some information about the property, okay? Now, you've got the information on the property, okay? All right. Now, you wanna make sure you've done your research. You wanna contact the local cities and see if there's any code violations on that property okay because remember i mentioned to you the local city code violations usually don't go away okay you're still stuck with them all right so big thing there you want to make sure you do that okay now when the auction is going to be starting which is on the 23rd okay you want to make sure that you've driven by the property. You've gone over there. If you looked at the property, don't go knocking on the door or anything like that. Just drive by and look at the property. Okay. And, uh, look at the neighborhood, see how the neighborhood is, is okay. And, um, you also want to do your research about what the value is of the property. What's the value of the property. Okay. Well, what do we do? We go on realtor.com or zillow.com, okay? That's where you're gonna punch in the address of the property. So you're gonna punch in the address of the property, okay? Once we've punched in the address of the property, okay? Now it will come up at a approximate value of the property, okay? Approximate value of the property. Now again, don't go off that, okay? but it will give you a better idea about what the true value is, okay? Now, when you go into realtor.com, you wanna hit the map area because you wanna see where your property is located compared to other properties. Where's your property located compared to other properties? Or when you drive over there, see if you can see if there's any other properties for sale, okay? And if they are, call the realtor. Find out how much they sell in their property for, how many square feet is the property, how many bedrooms and bathrooms. That will give you an idea better about what the true value is of the property. Okay? So now we've gone to this, we've contacted the city. 
Are there any code violations on it? Okay. We've driven by and looked at the property. Okay. Um, we went on realtor.com and zillow.com. Now, if you can try to talk to a title company and get a title report done, if you can, okay? Maybe they can do it for free. They can do some research for you, can see exactly what's on the property and everything like that, okay? That would be really helpful if you can get that title search done for you, okay? All right, so now we've done our homework there, okay? We've done some research. We went and looked at the property. We did all this stuff here. We're ready. We're ready for the auction, okay? So now you're ready for the auction and you wanna start bidding, okay? You've gotta decide, not me. You've gotta decide what do you wanna do with that property if you acquire it, okay? Do you want to keep the property as a rental? Do you want to buy it and then sell it to another investor, okay? Or do you want to buy it and then fix it up and then sell it retail, okay? So there's a number of options that you gotta think about what you wanna do, okay, on that situation. So let's suppose you do win the auction. Now, you've gotta know <clears throat> what your exit strategy is, which is what I explained, okay? You don't want to overbid on the property, okay? Unless it's something that you really want to have because you're the neighbor or something, you want the house, and it's something completely different. But if you're running this like a business per se, you've got to make sure you buy it way below the market. Now, I'll be honest with you, I kind of like to buy it at least a hundred grand minimum below the retail price. That's usually what my number is usually a hundred grand below the retail price, okay? So that's your decision, okay? But you gotta do your homework, you gotta do your research, you gotta do all that stuff, guys, okay? Now, if you do acquire the property, all right? If someone's still there at the property, try to do a cash for keys for the person to move out, okay? If they don't wanna do a cash for keys to move out, all right? you're probably you're gonna have to go through an eviction. But the good thing about it is you don't have a rental agreement and don't sign a rental agreement either, okay? That is a big no-no. <laughs> you don't wanna do that, okay? Because the person's not paying, they're probably not gonna pay also, all right? So you gotta be very careful on that situation. So now what we've done is that we've acquired the property if someone's living there, again, do cash for keys if you can. If not, you gotta do the eviction, get an eviction attorney, and then move on. The property's empty, okay? Property's empty, all right? Now you gotta decide what you wanna do, okay? If you wanna wholesale it, okay? Now remember, they do not give you a clear title, okay? Or a warranty deed. So I'm gonna give you a company, all right? Um, that you can call Tax Title Services. Tax Title Services, okay? They will do a lot of their research, they will offer the title insurance, and then they will go usually with Orange Coast Title to do the title, um, title insurance, okay? So Tax Title Service will do the research, they'll do investigation, they'll do all that stuff, you gotta pay them a fee, okay? And usually a non-refundable fee if some problem comes up. And uh, then if everything's cleared, they will give it to Orange Coast Title. Orange Coast Title will give you the title insurance and they will also charge you a fee also, okay? So I wanna give you that little tip right there, okay? That's a huge tip, <laughs> all right? So anyways, if you do want to wholesale the property, there you go, okay? You want to rehab the property? Well, you know what to do. That's a whole new video on the on the re, on the uh, fixing of the property or renting it out or fixing and selling to of uh, to buyers. Okay. So this one here was a more detailed one information about the Los Angeles County tax deed sale that's coming up October twenty third through the twenty fifth. Okay, of the research that you have to do. Okay, and then. Um, 
you'll know all this in, this stuff, okay? All right, guys, I do hope you like the little more detailed information on the video, okay? If you do, send us some likes, appreciate it. Any comments, put it down, I'll definitely get back with you. Um, and uh, consider telling your friends to maybe subscribe to me. I'd appreciate it too very much, okay? All right, so until next time, we will see you then.